Are you ready? Good evening. Welcome to the September 11th, 2017 legislative session. I'd like to call the meeting to order. At this time, I would request that everyone please turn off all electronic devices that make noise. Uh, if for some reason you have to take a call, please do so in the uh, hallway. If for some reason uh, there's an emergency that arises during the meeting, please uh, exit the room, make a right-hand turn, and go down the stairs. Should that exit for some reason be blocked, please make a left and then a right, go down the stairs. If you should need assistance, special assistance, please ask and we'll be happy to provide it to you. At this time, I would invite Pastor Dana Stauffer of the Fruitland campus of Emmanuel Wesleyan Church to the podium. Good evening. Good evening. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, before we come into this meeting, God, we just want to stop and remember, Lord, um, what happened back in 2001 on 9-11. And God, and our hearts are touched and are moved tonight as we think of those who are grieving loved ones that are have uh, gone on before them during this event, God. And I just pray for the nation, God, our nation, Lord, that needs desperate prayer, God. I pray for unity, and I pray for all the disasters that have just recently taken place with hurricanes, God, as people pick up the pieces. I pray that your hand would be upon them, God. And I pray for uh, this council meeting tonight. I pray for each and every person that's sitting in a seat. God, I pray for wisdom and knowledge and understanding of all that needs to be done tonight. And I thank you for such a wonderful town as, as Salisbury, God. And I just ask again that your hand would be upon this meeting. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor. <coughs> I would also ask at this time uh, for a moment of silent meditation to remember those who lost their lives and all those that have been affected by that loss. Thank you. Please rise now and join me in the Pledge to the Flag. Yes. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. Mayor, we have a presentation. Um, Mr. Council President, ladies and gentlemen, um, uh, we have a couple. Um, one thing that I just wanted to add, I won't ask for another moment of silence, but if I, you don't mind if I'll add a couple thoughts to this day. Um, you know, today marks the 16th anniversary of the terrorist attacks on our nation. Um, on September 11th, 2001, and I think uh, everybody has probably at some point today reflected upon where they were 16 years ago. Um, for those of us who are alive 16 years ago, some, some people in the room are younger than that. Um, but more than cowardice, those acts, uh, they were marked with a void of humanity, replaced by hatred for those who thought different than them. And their hatred killed 2,606 people in New York City, 40 more in Arlington, and 184 in Pennsylvania. And their hatred has killed many more since. It was a horrific day of loss. But the day after, that was a day that the nation resolved to be more strongly united. That day is the day that I want us to all remember. That was the day that brought us together. Not hate based on differences, but unity based on resolve. As we move forward, we've got to keep those days of unity, compassion, and hope at the forefront of our minds in every debate, every discussion, and in every deed. And as we move forward, we must also keep the sacrifice of those we lost that day at the forefront of our minds. We must remember those that went into the fire, those who placed all else above self, 
and were forced to prove it by sacrificing their very existence. We must emulate that service every day to nation and to community. That's the foundation of resolve that we have to remain great, to remain free, and to remain these United States of America. So again, I won't ask you to join in another moment of silence, but I appreciate your time in letting me share some thoughts. I also have a proclamation today, and um, I have uh, a couple friends that I'd like to invite up to help me with this proclamation. Josie and Mandy, can you join me? Hey, Josie, how you doing? Okay, so I have a proclamation here that names, um, well, let me, let me just read it. The, the American Childhood Cancer Organization, founded in 1970, is the largest grassroots childhood cancer organization in the United States and serves more than 100,000 families of children with cancer and supports and advocates for research that will lead to targeted, less toxic treatments for children with cancer. And the American Cancer Fund for Children and Kids Cancer Connection report that cancer is the leading cause of death by disease among children in the, in the United States from infancy through age 15, with one in five of our nation's children losing his or her battle with cancer. More than 15,000 of our country's young people are affected annually by this tragic disease, and many will suffer from long-term effects of comprehensive treatment, including secondary cancers. We must all be advocates for cancer's littlest patients and do our best to increase the awareness of the incidence and devastation of this disease on our ch children, and in doing so, raise awareness that continuous funding is needed for greater research that will hopefully result in much needed cures for childhood cancer. The gold ribbon is the international symbol for childhood cancer, and quote, going gold means increasing public knowledge about the gold ribbon and what it symbolizes that we care and support for children and their families who are waging this courageous battle against this deadly disease. So now therefore I, Jacob Day, the mayor of the city of Salisbury, along with the Salisbury City Council, do hereby proclaim this childhood, September Childhood Cancer Awareness Month in our city and encourage all citizens to go gold in September to help increase childhood cancer awareness in our city and in neighboring communities. And Josie, do you know where the fountain is in the city park? Have you seen it before? Big fountain? Bright in color, you've seen it? Okay, we've, we've turned that fountain gold for you today and it'll stay gold this month. And we've uplit it with gold lights because we're going gold for you, okay? High five, another high five? Oh, awesome, awesome. Mandy, do you, do you wanna share anything? I have a little bit if okay, you don't yeah, mind no, that'd be about great. our story. Of course. I, some of it's a repeat, but um, my name is Mandy and this is? Josie, and how old are you, Josie? Well, no, how old are you now? Six. She had a birthday in August. So she's not used to saying that she's six, but she's six, which is the average age um, that children are diagnosed with cancer. Um, about six months ago, our life was turned upside down, and we um, were told that she has cancer, probably the worst news um, that parents can hear and about every two minutes a child is diagnosed with cancer and a parent has to hear those words for themselves. Um, and it's not as um, uncommon as most people think. Josie has neuroblastoma, which is, or I'm sorry, nephroblastoma, which is the um, cancer of her kidney and it has spread to her lungs, which most of the time, um, children's cancer isn't detected until the late stages. Um, so most of the time it's at four, stage four, stage three. Um, in June, she had her kidney removed and as much as the tumor that they could get. Um, and so she's been in chemotherapy for the past six months and has two more months to go of that. So we are still kind of in the midst of this battle and she is courageously fighting it. She has taught me so much in this process, watching her going through it. Um, it doesn't discriminate. It doesn't pick, you know, it just, you, I've tried everything and done everything possible to keep her from cancer. And uh, it doesn't matter, it's a nasty disease. And um, I just want to spread awareness and um, be the voice for the fighters, for the survivors, and for um, our, our angels. Um, of childhood cancer. 
Uh, we can't do this alone, so we appreciate your help and your support and coming beside us and going gold for the month of September um, and raising awareness for childhood cancer. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming, Josie. Thank you. Get a picture. Can you get a picture back there, too? Yeah. Get a picture. Let's do one here and then we'll go. I think it's oh, I don't know. Come over here. Yeah. Big chair. Yeah. Big chair. 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 Joe, we can sit right here. Here you go. You can use the gavel too, okay? Wow. That's awesome, Joe. All right. You're in charge. That's awesome. That is awesome. Jesse, you know what it means when you sit in my chair? You won't have anything to do. She's good at that. She's very good at that. They don't always listen, though. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, now I want to obtain a motion to uh, adopt the legislative agenda as presented. So moved. Second. Mr. Ireton, Mr. Rudisill. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. And the chair votes aye. I'll entertain a motion to approve the consent agenda. So, so moved. moved. <laughs> Second. Mr. Boda that time, and we'll give Mr. Rudisill the second again. Good evening, Mrs. Nichols. <clears throat> Good evening, Mr. Heath, Council. Um, on the consent agenda tonight, we have the August 21st work session minutes, August 28th regular meeting minutes, resolution number 2770, authorizing the Chief of Police to enter into a, an MOU between the Salisbury Police Department and the Boy Scouts America Explorers Program to adhere to the rules and conditions therein. Resolution number 2771, appointing the following positions or their designee to the Gatsby 45 Trust, the City Administrator, Human Resources Director, and Finance Director. And we have um, a manufacturing exemption request for Clearcom Technologies, LLC, for the equipment they purchased in 2012, 2013, 2015, and 2016. And over the next five years, they will benefit from this exemption by a total savings of $1,521 in their property tax. And that concludes the consent agenda. Any questions or comments? Hearing none, all those in favor of the consent agenda, please signify by saying aye. 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 And the chair votes aye. I'll entertain a motion to award the bids. So moved. Second. Mr. Ireton, Ms. Jackson. Good evening, Mrs. Miller, how are you? I'm great, thank you. The first item this evening is the award of bid for contract RFP 11-17. That's the Riverwalk Amphitheater. The City of Salisbury Department of Procurement received a request from the Department of Infrastructure and Development to solicit proposals to design, permit, and construct a Riverwalk Amphitheater. The City followed standard solicitation practices by advertising in the Daily Times on the City of Salisbury's website utilizing the city and county vendor list and advertising on the state of Maryland's website, eMaryland Marketplace. Three vendors submitted a proposal by the due date and time of Tuesday, August 8th at 2.30 p.m. All three vendors were deemed responsive and responsible 
and their proposals were evaluated according to the criteria specified in the solicitation document and then ranked on a scale of zero, which is unacceptable, to four being superior. Delmarva Veteran Builders submitted a pre-construction cost of $47,500 and received a score of 3.45. Whiting Turner submitted a pre-construction cost of $65,000 and received an evaluation score of 3.07. And Seepco submitted a pre-construction cost of $400,000 and received an evaluation score of 2.07. Upon completion of the pre-construction phase and achieving 90% design plans, the guaranteed maximum price for the project will be negotiated with Delmarva Veteran Builders. This price will then be added to the contract via a change order. A total expenditure of $400,000 for construction was approved in the FY18 General Capital Projects Budget contributions for this project. The Procurement Department concurs with the award recommendation submitted by the Department of Infrastructure and Development and thereby requests Council's approval to award a contract for this project to Delmarva Veteran Builders in the amount of $47,500 for pre-construction services. Funds are available in the account noted in your packet. Questions or comments? There, there was a significant <clears throat> gap there between the, the top bidder and the two lower bidders. What was the difference in that? And what's the expected final cost of the project? Sure. So $400,000 is budgeted for the project. Um, we have $50,000 budgeted for this pre-construction services phase. Um, we suspect that SEPCO did not understand how to submit a correct price proposal. We were only okay. looking for the price for pre-construction services, okay. which is what this is. And then once the design is done to that 90% design, um, then we'll talk about price and it could be anywhere up to that $400,000 mark, but might even come in less than that. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Other questions? Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, the next item is a request for surplus for, the, for a few police department vehicles. Our department, the Department of Procurement, received a request from the Salisbury Police Department to declare three vehicles, Unit 14, Unit 33, and AC2 as surplus. Unit 14 and 33 are 9 and 16 years old respectively, have high mileage, and are in need of repairs that would exceed the value of each vehicle. AC2, which was utilized by Animal Control, was involved in an accident and was declared a total loss by the city's insurance company, legit. Additional details regarding the needed repairs are noted in the departmental memos attached. And I did put the unit numbers there, the vehicle, and the VIN numbers. Um, I do want to call you, to your attention, I did inadvertently omit one of the vehicles. It was on page two of the department memo. I will include that at the next council meeting. Upon declaration of surplus only for the item, the three items noted and as approved by council, the Salisbury Police Department and or the Procurement Department will attempt to sell Unit 14 and 33 at auction. If unsellable through this method, the vehicles will be sold locally as salvage. AC2 will be salvaged by legit for $10,453.49. Questions? Hearing none, uh, I'll call the motion. All those in favor of the award of bids, please signify by saying aye. 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 And chair votes aye. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Mrs. Miller. Ms. Clans, could you go to the podium and Alrighty. take a class, <laughs> take a big drink before you go. Um, <clears throat> let, me, let me explain what we're gonna be doing tonight. Uh, We've got a few pages of uh, resolutions and ordinances which we'll be handling and it essentially refers to changes that are made in the charter in terms of the reorganization that was uh, completed. So we'll try to get through these things um, with due diligence. Um, and uh, at this time, I would like to ask anyone in the room that intends to speak on any of these resolutions to please stand and be sworn in.
If there's questions, should they be yeah. supported? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, <laughs> it's a cast of thousands. <laughs> okay. Um, if it's staff, though, I don't. We don't really need to. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> really? Then we just. Oh. We'll <laughs> Maybe they should be. Then. Yeah. I mean, if, it's a, hear, if, it's, if it's a hearing, it's a we hearing should. Yet, okay. Yeah. Okay. Back up. Everybody up. That's a workout. All right. Right no. hand <laughs> Yeah. There we go. There you go. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Thank you. Okay, we will now open the public hearing for Charter Amendment Resolution number 2017-1, deleting the reference to the Department of Public Works and replacing it with the Department of Infrastructure and Development, the Department of Water Works, and the Department of Field Operations in Article 1, Section SC1-19. So moved. Second. Uh, Second. Well, we we're we're just doing the, the we're just doing the public hearing now. So right. yeah, just <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, is there any? No one wants to speak, so because we didn't swear anybody in. Um, any comments from the group? No, thank you. Um, in which case, I'll close the public hearing now. I'll call for a motion in the second to approve resolution number two seventeen dash one. So moved. Second. Mr. Ireton, Mr. Boda. Ms. Glanz. Before you use Charter Amendment Resolution number 2017-1, uh, a resolution to amend the Charter of the City of Salisbury, Maryland, by deleting the reference to the Department of Public Works and replacing it with the Department of Infrastructure and Development, the Department of Water Works, and the Department of Field Operations in Article 1. Um, CS 1-19. Whereas the Department of Public Works is being divided into three separate departments, the Department of Infrastructure and Development, the Department of Water Works, and the Department of Field Operations as part of the reorganization structure for the City of Salisbury. And whereas SC 1-19 of the current Sa Salisbury City Charter refers to the Department of Public Works that will be eliminated under the reorganization and replaced with the Department of Infrastructure and Development and the Department of Water Works and the Department of Field Operations. And whereas the, city, the Salisbury City Council has concluded that it is the best interest of the city to amend the city charter to accomplish the reorganization plan, which will not result in the increased costs under the city's current budget and will allow the city to operate in a more efficient manner. Any questions? If not, I'll call the motion. All those in favor of resolution number 2017-1 Please signify by saying aye. Aye. And the chair votes aye. We will now open the public hearing for Charter Amendment Resolution 2017-2, adding a deputy city administrator, adding deputy city administrators and specifying a chain of command in Article 4, Section SC 4-1. Okay. I will now close the public hearing uh, although, uh, I'll call for a motion now and, and a second to approve resolution number 217-2. So moved. Second. Ms. Jackson, Mr. Ireton, Ms. Glanz. Charter Amendment Resolution number 2017-2, a resolution to amend the Charter of the City of Salisbury, Maryland by adding Deputy City Administrators and specifying the chain of command in Article 4. C4-1. Whereas there is currently an assistant city administrator for the city which is being changed to two city administrators as part of the reorganization structure for the city of Salisbury. And whereas under the current city charter, the city administrator shall be the immediate supervisor of each department head. And whereas under the reorganization structure, structure the city administrator shall be the immediate supervisors of the department heads from the Department of Police and the Department of Fire, as well as the immediate supervisors of the mayor's office and the deputy city administrators. And whereas under the reorganization structure, one deputy city administrator shall be the immediate supervisors of the department of the department heads of the Department of Finance, Information Services, Human Resources, Business Development, and the Public Information Officer. And whereas under the reorganization structure, one deputy city administrator shall be the immediate supervisor of the department heads of the departments of infrastructure and development, field operations, water works, housing, community development, and procurement. 
uh, I, whereas the city Salisbury City Council has concluded that it is in the best interest of the city to amend the city charter to accomplish the reorganiza reorganization plan, which will not result in increased costs under the city's current budget and will allow the city to operate in a more efficient manner. Okay. I'll now call the vote. All those in favor of uh, Charter Amend Re Amendment Resolution Number 217-2, please signify by saying aye. 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 And the chair votes aye. <laughs> We will now open the public hearing for Charter Amendment Resolution Number 217-3, deleting the reference to Article 23A, Section 3A, and Section 5-1A, 38A, and replacing it with Local Government Article Section 6-102. Does anyone want to speak? Hearing none, I'll close the public hearing at this time. I will now entertain a motion to approve resolution number 2017-3. So moved. Mr. Second. Ireton. Second. Ms. Jackson. Ms. Glenn. Charter Amendment Resolution Number 2017-3. Resolution to amend the Charter of the City of Salisbury, Maryland by deleting the reference to Article 23A, 3A in SC 5-1A, 38A, and replacing it with local government article 6-102. Whereas the annotated code of Maryland is amended from time to time, and whereas the state of Maryland repealed and transferred all of article 23A of the annotated code of Maryland, and whereas the current city charter contains references to the prior version, and whereas the city, Salisbury City Council desires to amend the city charter to update the references to the annotated code of Maryland. I'll now call the vote on Charter Amendment Resolution Number 2017-3. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 And the chair votes aye. We will now open the public hearing for Charter Amendment Resolution Number 2017-4, deleting references to the Department of Internal Services and replacing those references with the Department of Finance and deleting the references to the Director of Internal Services and replacing that position with the Director of Finance in Article 7, Sections SC 7-1, SC 7-2, SC 7-3, SC 7-15, SC 7-22, SC 7-25, SC 7-37, SC 7-7, 738, SC 7-39, SC 7-40, SC 7-41, SC 7-42, and SC 7-46, DNF. <laughs> at, at this time, um, I'll close the public hearing if there's no one wants to speak. Uh, I'll now call the motion uh, call for a motion and a second to approve resolution number 2017-4. So moved. Second. Mr. Boda, Ms. Jackson. Can I just say ditto? Can you? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> charter amendment resolution number 2017-4. A resolution to amend the charter of the city of Salisbury, Maryland by deleting references to the Department of Internal Services and replacing those references with the Department of Finance and deleting references to the Director of Internal Services and replacing that position with the Director of Finance in Article 7. SC 7-1, SC 7-2, SC 7-3, SC 7-15, SC 7-22, SC 7-25, SC 7-37, SC 7-38, SC 7-39, SC 7-40, SC 7-41, SC 7-42, and SC 7-46 D and F. Whereas the Department of Internal Services is being divided into two separate departments and the Department of Finance and the Department of Procurement as part of the reorganization structure for the City of Salisbury. And whereas Article 7 of the current city, Salisbury City Charter refers to the Department of Internal Services that will be eliminated under the reorganization and replaced with the Department of Finance. And whereas the Salisbury City Council has concluded that it is in the best interest of the city to amend the City Charter to accomplish the reorganization plan which will not result in increased costs under the city's budget current budget and will allow the city to operate in a much in a more efficient manner. I'll now call the vote for charter amendment resolution number 2017-4. All those in favor please signify by saying aye. 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 And the chair votes aye. 
We will now open the public hearing for Charter Amendment Resolution 2017-5, deleting the reference to the Department of Public Works and replacing it with the Department of Field Operations and Department of Infrastructure and Development by renaming the Bureau in Section SC10-1B by changing the responsibility in SC10-2 and by adding SC-10-3 and SC-10-4. No one wants to speak. I will now close the hearing. I'll now entertain a motion to approve resolution number 2017-5. So moved. Second. Ms. Jackson, Mr. Ireton, Ms. Lance. Charter Amendment Resolution Number 2017-5, resolution to amend the Article 10 in the, cha in the Charter of the City of Salisbury, Maryland by deleting the reference to the Department of Public Works and replacing it with the Department of Field Operations and the Department of Infrastructure and Development by renaming the bureaus in SC10-1B by changing the responsibilities in SC-10-2 uh, SC and by adding SC10-3 and SC10-4. Whereas the Department of Public Works is being divided into three separate departments, the Department of Infrastructure and Development, the Department of Waterworks, and the Department of Field Operations as part of the reorganization structure for the City of Salisbury. And whereas the Department of Infrastructure and Development and the Department of Field Operations are each assuming different responsibilities in Article 10. And whereas the Department of Waterworks will be assuming resp responsibilities in Article 12. And whereas Article 10 of the current City, Salisbury City Charter refers to the Department of Public Works that will be eliminated under the reorganization and replaced with the Department of Infrastructure and Development, the Department of Waterworks, and the Department of Field Operations. And whereas the Salisbury City Council has concluded that it is in the best interest of the city to amend the city charter to accomplish the reorganization plan, which will not result in increased costs under the city's current budget and will allow the city to operate in a much, in a more efficient manner. I'll now call the vote. All those in favor of Charter Amendment Resolution dash number 217-5, please signify by saying aye. 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 And the chair votes aye. Mr. Council President. Yes. I'm going to um, let uh, Deputy City Administrators Kitzrow and Pulcher finish these, if you don't mind. They're going to take the next two each. Get their feet Certainly. wet. <laughs> Doesn't seem fair. Good evening, Andy. Good evening. On the job training. I will, I will now open the public hearing for Charter Amendment Resolution 2017-6, deleting the reference to the Department of Public Works and replacing it with the Department of Infrastructure and Development in Article 11, Section SC 11-5 and SC 11-9. I will invite the uh, public to speak Hearing none, I will close the public hearing. Uh, I want to entertain a motion to, uh, and a second to approve resolution number 2017-6. So moved. Second. Mr. Boda, Ms. Jackson. Charter Amendment Resolution Number 2017-6, a resolution to amend the Charter of the City of Salisbury, Maryland by deleting the reference to the Department of Public Works and replacing it with the Department of Infrastructure and Development in Article 11, SC 11-5 and SC 11-9. Whereas the Department of Public Works is being divided into three separate departments, the Department of Infrastructure and Development, the Department of Water Works, and the Department of Field Operations as part of the reorganization structure for the City of Salisbury, and whereas SC 11-5 and SC 11-9 of the current Salisbury City Charter refers to the Department of Public Works that will be eliminated under the reorganization and replaced with the Department of Infrastructure and Development, and whereas the Salisbury City Council has concluded that this is in the best interest of the city to amend the city charter to accomplish the reorganization plan, which will not result in the increased costs under the city's current budget and will allow the city to operate in a more efficient manner. I now call for the vote on Charter Amendment Resolution Number 2017-6. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 And the chair votes aye. I now open the public hearing for Charter Amendment Resolution Number 2017-7, deleting the reference to the Department of Public Works and replacing it with the Department of Water Works in Article 12 water, sewers, and garbage, 
SC 12-1, SC 12-2, SC 12-3, SC 12-4, SC 12-7, and SC 12-10. If anyone wants to speak, hearing none, I'll close the public hearing. I'll entertain a motion to and a second to approve resolution number 2017-7. So moved. Mr. Second. Rudisil. Mr. Boda, was that you? Okay. Charter Amendment Resolution Number 210, sorry, 2017-7, uh, a resolution to amend the Charter of the City of Salisbury, Maryland by deleting the reference to the Department of Public Works and replacing it with the Department of Water Works in Article 12, Water, Sewers, and Garbage, SC 12-1, SC 12-2, SC 12-3, SC 12-4, SC 12-7, and SC 12-10. Whereas the Department of Public Works is being divided into three separate departments, the Department of Infrastructure and Development, the Department of Water Works, and the Department of Field Operations as part of the reorganization structure for the City of Salisbury. And whereas Article 12 of the current Salisbury City Charter contains the Department of Public Works that will be eliminated under the reorganization and replaced with the Department of Infrastructure and Development. And whereas Articles 12 of the Charter controls the city's power to plan, construct, and maintain the water system and sewage system for the city. And whereas the Salisbury City Council has concluded that that is in the best interest of the city to amend the city charter to accomplish the reorganization plan which will not result in an increased cost under the city's current budget and will allow the city to operate in a more efficient manner. I now call the vote. All those in favor of charter resolution number 2017-7, please signify by saying aye. 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 And the chair votes aye. We will now open the public hearing for charter amendment resolution number 2017-8. Deleting references to the Department of Internal Services and Division of Procurement and replacing those references with the Department of Procurement and deleting all references to the Director of Internal Services and deleting references to the Assistant Director of Internal Services slash Procurement and replacing those references with the Director of Procurement and correcting typographical errors in Article 16, Sections SC 16-1, SC 16-2, SC 16-3A, SC 16-5, SC 16-6, SC 16-7, SC 16-8, and SC 16-9, and replacing those with the Director of Finance in SC 16-10. Anyone wishing to speak? Hearing none, I'll close the public hearing. I'll now call for a motion and a second to approve resolution number 2017-8. So moved. Second. Mr. Boda, Ms. Jackson. Ms. Poulter. A charter amendment resolution number 2017-8, a resolution to amend the charter of the city of Salisbury, Maryland by deleting references to the Department of Internal Services and the Division of Procurement and replacing those references. With the Department of Procurement and deleting all references to the Director of Internal Services, deleting references to the Assistant Director of Internal Services Procurement, and replacing those references with the Director of Procurement and correcting typographical errors in Article 16, SC 16-1, SC 16-2, SC 16-3A, SC 16-5, SC 16-6, SC 16-7, SC 16-8, and SC 16-9, and replacing those with the Director of Finance in SC 16-10. Whereas the Department of Internal Services is being divided into two separate departments, the Department of Finance and the Department of Procurement as part of the reorganization structure for the City of Salisbury, and whereas Article 16 of the current Salisbury City Charter refers to the Division of Procurement within the Department of Internal Services that will be eliminated under the reorganization and replaced with the Department of Procurement, and whereas the City of Salis Salisbury City Council has concluded that it is in the best interest of the city to amend the city charter to accomplish the reorganization plan, which will not result in increased costs on the city's current budget and will allow the city to operate in a more efficient manner. I now call for the vote on Charter Amendment Resolution Number 2017-8. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 And the chair votes aye. 
We'll now open the public hearing on Charter Amendment Resolution 2017-9, deleting references to Director of Internal Services and replacing that position with the Director of Finance in Article 20, Sections SC20-1, SC20-3, and SC20-4. Is there anyone wishes to speak? Hearing none, I will close the public hearing. I'll now entertain a motion and a second to approve resolution number 2017-9. So moved. Second. Ms. Jackson, Mr. Boda. Charter Amendment Resolution Number 2017-9, a resolution to amend the Charter of the City of Salisbury, Maryland by deleting references to the Director of Internal Services and replacing that position with the Director of Finance in Article 20, SC20-1, SC20-3, and SC20-4. Whereas the Department of Internal Services is being divided into two separate departments, the Department of Finance and the Department of Procurement, as part of the reorganization structure of the City of Salisbury, and whereas Article 20 of the current Salisbury City Charter refers to the Director of Internal Services that will be eliminated under the reorganization and replaced with the Director of Finance, and whereas the Salisbury City Council has concluded that it is in the best interest of the City to amend the City Charter to accomplish the reorganization plan, which will not result in increased costs under the City's current budget and will allow the City to operate in a more efficient manner. I now call for the vote on Charter Amendment Resolution 2017-9. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 And the Chair votes aye. The uh, Charter Amendment public hearings are now completed. The remainder of the items were presented by City Attorney Mark Tillman. Did you bring water with you? Mm. Good. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Tillman. Good evening. I want to entertain a motion to approve Ordinance Number 2434 for the second reading. So moved. Second it. Ms. Jackson and Mr. Rudisill. Mr. Tillman. This is an ordinance by the Mayor and Council of the City of Salisbury to amend the Salisbury uh, City Code by deleting Chapter 8.32 Smoking and replacing it with a new Chapter 8.32 Smoking to prohibit smoking on, in, or around property owned, leased, or operated by the City, including public parks. This is the second reading. I read it in its entirety last time. I, if you don't mind, I'll, I'll skip that this time. That's there fine. was one change made where the uh, inch uh, you know, symbol was used, and that was changed to the word inches. Um, inches. And other than that, I think it remains as it was. Any questions? All those in favor? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. Chair votes aye. I want to obtain a motion to approve ordinance number 2435 for the second reading. So moved. Second. Mr. Boda, Ms. Jackson. Mr. Tillman. Okay, this is an ordinance of the City of Salisbury approving a budget amendment, the FY 2018 General Fund, to appropriate funds for a National Folk Festival event manager. Um, this again is the second reading. It was read in its entirety. Uh, the only correction that was made at the last meeting was down under lines 29 and 30. The two figures needed to be reversed to match the whereas clauses, which are correct. Questions? Hearing none, all those in favor of ordinance number 2435 for the second reading, please signify by saying aye. 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 And the chair votes aye. I'll entertain a motion to approve ordinance number 2436 for the first reading. So moved. Second. Mr. Boda, Ms. Jackson, Mr. Tillman. Okay. Uh, this is an ordinance of the city, city of Salisbury amending Title V business licenses and regulations of the Salisbury Municipal Code to retitle Chapter 5.32 Hawkers, Peddlers, and Transient Merchants as mobile vendors to refer to all activities of selling food or merchandise from a mobile vehicle, van, wagon, cart, boat, or movable structure as, a, as mobile vending 
to move the enforcement of responsibilities of mobile vendors from the city clerk to the business development director and to create a new chapter titled Door to Door Solicitors. Whereas Chapter 5.32 Hawkers, Peddlers, and Transient Merchants shall be retitled Chapter 5.32 Mobile Vendors to update the chapter and refer to all such activities as mobile vending. And whereas all references to city clerk shall be removed and replaced with business development director in Chapter 5.32 Mobile Vendors. And whereas all references to door to door soliciting shall be removed from Chapter 5.32 Mobile Vendors. And a new chapter shall be added entitled Door to Door Solicitors to be enforced by the city clerk. And whereas the office of the city clerk recommends approval of the proposed code changes now therefore be enacted or ordained by the city council by the council of the city of Salisbury, Maryland, the chapter 5.32 hawkers, peddlers, and transient merchants of the Salisbury Municipal Code is hereby amended and chapter 5.34 door-to-door -door solicitors is added to the Salisbury Municipal Code as follows. Um, first change under chapter 5.32, the, uh, there's a change to the uh, title, uh, deleting the words hawkers, peddlers, and adding mobile vendors. Um, under definitions, 5.32.10, excuse me, 0 .010, uh, the uh, clerk uh, is deleted on, on line 31. Business development director is um, added in with the, uh, also the word means the director of business development or his or her designee. The uh, line 33 deletes hawkers or peddlers again and, and substitutes mobile vendor, which means any person, whether or not a city resident, who engages in the activities of hawking or peddling of food, services, or merchandise from a mobile vehicle, van, wagon, cart, boat, or other movable structure. Again, line 36, we remove hawkers and peddlers, substitute mobile vending. Um, the definition uh, will means the act of offering for sale and delivery of goods, wares, or merchandise, including but not limited to magazines, books, periodicals, food, and personal property of every nature on the uh, public streets or in any other public uh, place, including offering any of the uh, aforementioned, above mentioned, excuse me, items for sale and delivery from any type of wagon, vehicle, boat, or other movable structure. The remainder of the definitions uh, remain the same under that section. Um, the uh, under enforcement section 5.32.020, the clerk is being eliminated and substituted as the business development director. Under 5.32.030, again, we're removing the uh, words hawkers and peddlers, substituting mobile vendors, uh, and that again appears in line 56. In line 60, the same change. Um, under 5.32.040, um, there is a change down in uh, subsection B, and that is engaging in the delivery of goods, wares, or merchandise, and we're striking the words including but not limited to um, bread and bakery products, meat and meat products, or milk products, and in, in the substitution for those, we're saying to any person, so it would be the delivery of goods, wares, or merchandise to any person who had previously ordered the same or was entitled to receive the same by reason of a prior agreement. Under um, subsection C, hawking and peddling is removed and substituting mobile vending. Uh, D, E, and F remain the same, as well as G and H. Then under section 5.32.050, again, substituting hawkers and peddlers and uh, replacing it with mobile vendor. And uh, the clerk is now replaced there also with business development director. Uh, the remainder of that section uh, remains unchanged. Section 5.32.060, surety bond required. Again, hawkers and peddlers removed, mobile vendor substituted, uh, clerk is removed, business development director substituted. Um, under section 5.32.070, uh, license fee, uh, the uh, fee amount is being changed from uh, what was previously in there at $25 and it's now gonna read $50. And again, clerk is uh, exchanged for business development director. 5.32.080, again, substituting the title from clerk to business development director under A. Under B, uh, the same uh, changes are being made, including hawkers and peddlers replaced with mobile vendor. Um, again, the, uh, the same change under subsection C, clerk is replaced with business development director. Section 5.32.090, um, the it's will begin um, uh, in the words, in the case of hawkers and peddlers. So it'll just begin with a license issued under this chapter or shall be good for one year. 
etc. So just the one deletion. Subsection C, hawkers and peddlers replaced with mobile vendor again. Um, and subsection D, clerk is replaced with business development director. Uh, section 5.32.100, um, the uh, changes there, line 157, um, the uh, expiration of the existing license, um, file either uh, an application for renewal by the clerk or confirm in writing that the information on the expiring application remains the same. Um, and then uh, the, the uh, line 160, they're just adding or written request for renewal, uh, it appears in that section. Um, under 5.32.110, again, substituting the title from clerk to business develop director, under same with uh, B, and, but also doing hawkers and peddlers with mobile vendor. C, uh, the same changes are appearing again. Um, next change, uh, line 180, hawking and peddling, remove mobile vending, substituted. Um, and then in there, at the end on line 183, we're adding or by special permission from the business development director. Um, prohibited areas, um, basically again, substituting hawkers uh, or peddlers um, with uh, mobile vending. Um, and I think that's, let's see, exceptions for the selling part of the festival. So, no, I, I don't, it, the rest of the changes there are just to make it, you know, clear what's happening. Uh, line 190, except the mayor may grant uh, exceptions or exemptions as part of a festival, fireman's muster, or other bona fide activity within the city park, park or by special permission. Uh, no changes, uh, it looks like, under uh, 5.32.140 or 5.32.150 or 5.32160. Um, and then the uh, next is the section that's being added. And uh, that section is pretty much uh, following the same format that is all being added. I'll be happy to read it if you'd like me to, but uh, it's, it's basically just to pull out that one element and put it, leave it with a clerk. I think that's fine. Okay. Basically, that's not changing, though. She'll right. still keep door-to-door -door sales. Right. <laughs> I, would, I would like to make one clarification. Mm -hmm. We're not removing the clerk. You're okay. It's just the word clerk from the document. <laughs> Come on, folks. It's going to be a long night. <laughs> <laughs> Work with me. <laughs> okay. And, and the other thing also, we uh, raised a fee because there's some costs associated with background checks and Yes. Processing, so that's uh, that was discussed at work session. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. I'll call the motion. All those in favor of ordinance number 2436 for the first reading, please signify by saying aye. 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 And the chair votes aye. <clears throat> I'll obtain a motion to approve ordinance number 2437 for the first reading. So moved. Move. Second. Ms. Jackson and Mr. Boda. Mr. Tillman? Uh, this is an ordinance of the City of Salisbury approving a budget amendment of the FY uh, 2018 general fund budget to appropriate the funds uh, returned on a contract, whereas the police department requires police officer recruits to enter into a five-year prorated contract prior to employment, whereas a police officer who did not meet the conditions of the contract reimbursed the city prorated amount of $10,000, and whereas the Salisbury Police Department requests that these funds be placed in our policy services training account 21021-555504 to offset the police academy training cost. Now, therefore, we be it ordained by the City Council of the City of Salisbury, Maryland, that the City's fiscal year 2018 general fund budget be and is hereby amended as follows. Number one, increase the general fund revenue account 01000-456911 by 10,000 and paragraph two, increase the police department budget by an equivalent amount. Any questions? All those in favor of ordinance number 2437, please signify by saying aye. Aye. And the chair votes aye. I'll entertain a motion to approve ordinance number 2438 for the first reading. So moved. Second. Okay, this Ms. is Jackson. <laughs> Mr. Boda. Ordinance of the City of Salisbury approving a budget amendment of the FY 2018 general fund budget to appropriate the funds returned on a contract, whereas the police department requires police officer recruits to enter into a five-year 
uh, prorated contract prior to employment, whereas a police officer who did not meet the conditions of the contract reimbursed the city a prorated amount of 16000 and whereas the police department requested these funds be placed in their police services training account 21021-555504 to offset police academy training costs, now therefore be ordained by the City Council of the City of Salisbury, Maryland. City's fiscal year 2018 general fund budget begins hereby amended as follows. Increase current surplus account 01000-469810 by 16,000 and increase the police department budget by an equivalent amount. Any questions? <clears throat> Call the motion. All those in favor of ordinance number 2438 for the first reading, please signify by saying aye. 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 And the chair votes aye. I'll detain a motion to approve ordinance number 2439 for the first reading. So moved. Second. Mr. Boda, Ms. Jackson. And so they begin. And so <laughs> we begin. This is the, a, a continuation of the uh, charter amendments that we discussed earlier. Uh, this is dealing with the code sections that are necessary to be changed in order to accomplish the reorganization. It's an ordinance of the City of Salisbury to amend the following sections of Title I General Provisions of the Salisbury Municipal Code, Chapter 1.04, Code Adoption, Section Point. 200 and chapter 1.16.100 waiver of fines authority to issue citations violations and penalties repealer by updating the reference to article 23a with the current reference in the local government article by deleting the references to the department of building permitting inspection and replacing it with the department of infrastructure and development deleting the reference to the department of neighborhood services and code compliance and replacing it with the housing and community development department deleting the references to public works adding the fire marshal and adding the fire prevention code. Whereas the mayor and council of the city of Salisbury desire to reorganize the department's departmental structure of the city of Salisbury and whereas the department of public works is being divided into three separate departments, the department of infrastructure and development, the department of water works and the department of field operations as part of the reorganization structure for the city of Salisbury and whereas the name of the department of neighborhood services and code compliance was previously changed to the housing and community development department whereas the fire marshal is currently a part of the department of building permitting and inspections, and whereas the fire marshal will be part of the fire department as part of the reorganization structure, and whereas the fire marshal will have authority to issue fines and citations to enforce the fire prevention code, and whereas the Salisbury City Council has concluded it is in the best interest of the city to amend the city code to accomplish the reorganization plan, which will not result in increased costs under the city's current budget and will allow the departments to operate in a more efficient manner. Now, therefore, being enacted or ordained by the city of Salisbury that chapters 1.04.200 and 1.16.100 of the Salisbury City Municipal Code be amended as follows. Okay. Um, Basically, again, uh, you can see on lines 46, we're substituting the Article 23 reference for the um, more current reference. Uh, we're also deleting the uh, uh, mayor and council uh, and referring to the city of Salisbury. Um, the uh, infrastructure and civil violations section under uh, subsection B, again, we're just taking out the uh, outdated references building permitting inspection and substituting in infrastructure and development uh, and the designee of the director there and again the same uh, is occurring down under subparagraph 11 director of public works is being eliminated and the director of the department of field operations in the designee of the director is added um, and in 12 uh, deputy director of public works is being subs is being deleted and in its place, uh, traffic superintendent. Um, under paragraph 13, uh, it's going to be the operations and maintenance superintendent. The word supervisor comes out. And then uh, the uh, additions here are the safety manager in paragraph 15 and the fire marshal in paragraph 17. And those people will be able to issue citations in the future. Um, the addition, uh, only other substantive addition is in subparagraph C. We're adding uh, the City of Salisbury Fire Prevention Code as uh, number eight. That's it. Okay. Questions? Hearing none, all those in favor of ordinance number 2439 for the first reading, please signify by saying aye. 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 And the chair votes aye. I'll entertain a motion to approve ordinance number 2440 for the first reading. 
So Second. moved. Second. Ms. Jackson, Mr. Boda. It's an ordinance of the City of Salisbury to amend the following sections of Title II, Administration and Personnel of the Salisbury Municipal Code, Chapter 2.04.060, Subsection A, Title Financial Disclosure, Dash Employees and Appointed Officials, Chapter 2.14, Housing and Community Development Department, Chapter 2.18, Department of Information Technology and Chapter 2.20.020, Human Resources Department by deleting the reference to the Assistant City Administrator and replacing it with the references to the Deputy City Administrators by adding the building code to the codes enforced by the Housing and Community Development Department by deleting the references to Information Technology and replacing it with Information Services and by deleting the word uh, direct in front of the phrase supervision of the city administrator to amend chapter 2.32 purchases and sales by deleting the title director of internal services and replacing it with the title director of procurement and to amend chapter 2.40 uh, disposition of personal property section 0 .030 by deleting the title director of internal services and replacing it with the title director of finance whereas the mayor and council of the city of Salisbury desire to reorganize the departmental structure of the city and whereas the position of assistant city administrator is being changed to two deputy city administrators as part of the reorganization, whereas under the reorganization structure, one deputy city administrator shall be immediate supervisor of the department heads from the departments of finance, public information office, information services, human resources, and business development, whereas the other deputy city administrator shall be the immediate supervisor of the department heads from the departments of procurement, housing, and community development, waterworks, field operations, infrastructure, and development, whereas the Department of Building Permitting Inspections is being eliminated as part of the reorganization structure for the city, and whereas the responsibilities of this department for planning, permitting, and licensing will be handled by the newly created Department of Infrastructure and Development, and whereas the responsibilities of this department for the enforcement of the building code will be handled by the Housing and Community Development Department, and whereas the Department of Information Technology is being given additional responsibilities as being renamed as part of the reorganization structure of the city of Salisbury and whereas the geographic uh, information system GIS will now be part of the department and whereas the Department of Internal Services being, is being divided into two separate departments, the Department of Finance and the Department of Procurement as part of the reorganization structure for the city of Salisbury and whereas chapter 2.32 of the current Salisbury City Code refers to the Director of Internal Services that will be eliminated under the reorganization and replaced with the Director of Procurement and whereas chapter 2.40 of the current Salisbury Code refers to the Director of Internal Services that will be eliminated under the reorganization and replaced with the Director of Finance and whereas the city of uh, the Salisbury City Council has concluded it is in the best interest of the city to amend the city code to accomplish the reorganization plan which will not result in increased costs under the city's current budget and will allow the departments to operate in a more efficient manner. Now therefore be it an act or ordained by the city of Salisbury that chapters 2.04, 2.14, 2.18, 2.20, 2.32 and 2.40 of the Salisbury of the city of Salisbury municipal code be amended as follows. Uh, the first section 2.04 is the ethics section and we're replacing the reference there to city administrator with deputy city administrators, plural. Um, the um, under 2.14.010, we're adding uh, the building, fire, and uh, building and fire to the already list of uh, purposes for the housing and community development department so that they will have the authority to enforce those as well. Powers and duties of the director of the department. Again, um, the uh, under 2.14.030, the word direct supervision of the city is eliminated because, in fact, they will be supervised under the authority of the mayor by the assistant uh, city administrator. Um, or by the city administrator, what am I saying? Uh, again, the directly is taken out of the next section in line 106. Um, down under 2.14050, we're again adding in the words building fire uh, to that section to include those as well. Uh, the Department of Information um, and Technology Services um, is being, the word technology is being uh, eliminated. And then the rest, if you go through some of that, again, we're eliminating the word technology repeatedly. Uh, again, the direct supervision comes out on line 140. Technology is uh, taken out, and then the next section is down again. Just the word technology is being removed. Uh, the 
numbers are, it's being renumbered in line 158. And um, again, technology removed. Under the Human Resources Department, again, uh, they had previously been referred to under the direct supervision, but that it will, there will now be a, a chain of command, including the deputy uh, city administrators in there as well. So that's coming out. Um, well, let's see what we got here. We got a date changing in line 185, uh, then down in 2.32.020, the city uh, purchases and sales will be controlled by the director of procurement now um, instead of internal services. Uh, again, that same uh, language is being taken care of in lines 200 and 201. Uh, the same thing is being done down in line 211. Uh, same thing is being done in 219. 223 and again on 229 and then under the procedures for competitive bidding again the uh, director of procurement is going to handle that so the references to internal services are being eliminated in subsections a and b um, again uh, the same uh, result in subsection c and uh, then the uh, further subsections that are, we go down um, to uh, under one and then the uh, lowercase uh, b, c, d, uh, same changes are being made. Again, we're eliminating the reference to internal services. Um, continues on into uh, lines uh, 336 and 337, same changes. And they continue again under subsection D. So it, as you can see by the changes there, very few of the duties are actually changing. It's just the name and the person who would be responsible for it is, is changing. Uh, under emergency services, 2.32.060, again, internal services is coming out. Procurement is going in. Uh, that appears in subsection uh, B, C, and D, uh, 2.32.070. Um, again, internal services coming out. The word procurement is being added in multiple places. Same is happening with 2.32.080, uh, 2.32.090, and 2.32.100, and uh, 2.40.030. Same changes. And that's it. Question, questions? <laughs> all right. Hearing none, I'll call the motion. All those in favor of ordinance number 2440 for first reading, please signify by saying aye. 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 And the chair votes aye. Okay. I'll entertain a motion to approve ordinance number 2441 for the first reading. So Second. Mr. Boda, Ms. Jackson. All right. Um, as late as today, a few minor changes have been made in this section. I'm going to read this with the changes as I previously discussed uh, okay. with the President of the Council. An ordinance of the City of Salisbury to amend Chapter 2.12, Department of Building, Permitting and Inspections of the Salisbury City Code by deleting the references of the Department of Building, Permitting and Inspections, and replacing those references with the Department of Infrastructure and Development, adding language to establish the responsibility of the Building Code Enforcement by the Housing and Community Development Department, and adding the language through, for the review and oversight of fire lanes. Whereas the mayor and council of the city of Salisbury desire to reorganize the department, departmental structure of the city of Salisbury and whereas the department of building permitting inspections is being eliminated as part of the reorganization structure for the city of Salisbury and whereas the responsibility of this department for planning, permitting and licensing will be handled by the newly created department of infrastructure and development and whereas the responsibilities of this department for the enforcement of the building code uh, after the completion of construction will be handled by the Housing and Community Development Department, whereas the Salisbury City Council has concluded it is the best interest of the city to amend the city code to accomplish the reorganization plan, which will not result in increased costs under the city's current budget and will allow the departments to operate in a more efficient manner. Now, therefore, be enacted and ordained by the City of Salisbury that Chapter 2.12 of the City of Salisbury Municipal Code be amended as follows. Um, 
chapter uh, 2.12, again, uh, building permitting and inspections is eliminated, the new department, Department of Infrastructure and Development. Um, and again, the same changes appear in 2.12.010, uh, in 2.12.020. Um, again, just those substitution of names. Um, under the powers and duties of the director and department, uh, the, uh, again, the word direct is coming out, so it'll read um, authority of the mayor and the supervision of the city administrator. Um, building permitting and inspections comes out. Uh, there's an addition on line 61, which reads the city fire marshal shall report the results of the fire plan reviews and pre-occupancy functions to the director of the Department of Instru Infrastructure and Development. Um, and then the next line, again, building permitting and inspections is eliminated, infrastructure and development is put in there. Um, under section 2.12.040, uh, there was a, a last sentence to that paragraph, which has been eliminated. Um, and the, uh, again, the references to building permitting and inspections are replaced with infrastructure and development. Um, again, that occurs in 2.12.050. Uh, and the same uh, changes are taking place in 2.12.060 uh, and as well are occurring in 2.12.070. And that's it. Okay. Questions? All those in favor of ordinance number 2441 for the first reading, please signify by saying aye. 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 The chair votes aye. I'll entertain a motion to approve ordinance number 2442 for the first reading. So moved. Mr. Second. Bowden. <laughs> Second. Ms. Jackson, are you, you have special? I like uh, this word. Okay, you like this one? I like this one, yeah. Okay, he likes this one, so. <laughs> the mayor knows why. Okay. Uh, ordinance 2442, an ordinance of the City of Salisbury to amend Chapter 2.16.020, Fire Department, Organization, Subsections A, B, F, G, H, and I of the Salisbury City Code by adding the positions of Deputy Fire Chief of Administrative Services and Fire Marshal to the Department and by deleting the references to the Volunteer Company Number 1. Whereas the Mayor and Council of the City of Salisbury has desired to reorganize the departmental structure of the City of Salisbury and whereas the Department of Building Permits and Inspections is being eliminated as part of the reorganization structure of the City of Salisbury and whereas the position of Fire Marshal will now be part of the Fire Department and whereas the position of Fire Deputy Fire Chief of, of Administrative Services is being added as a newly created position and whereas the City of Salisbury Council has concluded and is the best interest of the city to amend the city code to accomplish the reorganization plan which will not result in increased costs under the current under the city's current budget and will allow the departments to operate in a more efficient manner uh, now therefore be it ordained by the city of Salisbury that chapter 2.16 of the city of Salisbury municipal code be amended as follows all right under the fire department um, organization uh, the first uh, elimination is the elimination of the uh, volunteer company Salisbury fire department Inc company number one uh, which uh, was as a result of their resignation um, the fire department shall have a sufficient number of career and voluntary uh, personnel to effectively manage uh, and efficiently manage fire department personnel and operations, including in the, uh, what's being added there is the deputy fire chief of administrative services career, and then we're renumbering what was already there under the deputy fire chief of operations. And then down below, um, a new uh, paragraph six is being added to name the fire marshal career as an additional position and the others are just being renumbered. Um, down on subsection F, we're adding a new paragraph 15, which basically is outlining the uh, duties and responsibilities of the fire chief and 15 will, reads uh, that the chief will serve as the authority having jurisdiction over the city fire prevention code. This authority may be delegated by the chief to the fire marshal. Uh, and that's the only change uh, in that section. And then uh, we're taking out in subsection G the reference to uh, career. So the deputy fire chief of administrative services is being substituted. Uh, then when we get down under um, subparagraph two, that's a com that is an addition. 
Uh, it will read that the deputy fire chief of operations or third in command after the fire chief and the deputy fire chief of administrative services went on duty in the absence of the fire chief and the deputy fire chief of administrative services shall assume all of the duties and responsibilities of the fire chief and for the time being shall possess all the authority under the existing laws and regulations as have been laid down for the guidance and direction of the fire chief and deputy fire chief of administrative services. The deputy fire chief of operations shall assist the fire chief in the day-to-day -day operations of the fire department and shall be subject to the direction and control of the fire chief. The deputy fire chief of operations shall have primary responsibility for managing uh, the coordination of activities, personnel, resources, and operations of the fire department. Subparagraph three is also being added. It will read the deputy fire chief of volunteer services or fourth in command after the fire chief and deputy fire chief of administrative services and deputy chief of operations when on duty in the absence of the fire chief and deputy fire chief of administrative services, deputy chief of operations shall assume all of the duties and responsibilities of the fire chief and for the time being shall possess all the authority under the existing laws and regulations as have been laid down for the guidance and directions of the fire chief and deputy fire chief of administrative services and deputy chief of operations. The deputy fire chief of volunteer service shall assist the fire chief and other deputy fire chiefs in the day-to-day -day operations of the fire department and shall be subject to the direction and control of the fire chief. The deputy fire chief volunteer shall have primary responsibility for managing the volunteer component of the fire department. Uh, subsection H is being added. It will read duties and responsibilities of the fire marshal. The fire marshal shall be a uniform firefighter. The fire marshal conducts plan reviews and performs pre occupancy inspections to enforce the City of Salisbury Fire Prevention Code, Section 8.11. Uh, the fire marshal under the authority of the fire chief is the, is the City of Salisbury's primary and key point of contact for the expertise and guidance on any and all fire prevention issues or concerns. The city fire marshal shall report the results of the fire plan reviews and pre-occupancy functions to the director of the Department of Infrastructure and Development. Uh, then when we get down into subsection I, uh, we're just again uh, deleting references to career and volunteer and adding in the deputy fire chief of administrative services uh, where appropriate. And that's it. Okay. Questions? Hearing none, I'll call the motion. All those in favor of ordinance number 2442 for the first reading, please signify by saying aye. 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 And the chair votes aye. I'll entertain a motion to approve ordinance number 2443 for the first reading. So moved. Second. Mr. Boda, Ms. Jackson. It's an ordinance of the City of Salisbury to amend the following sections of Title II, Revenue and Finance of the Salisbury Municipal Code, Chapter 3.04, Claims for Refund, Sections .030, .040, and .050. Chapter 3.08, Personal Property Taxes, Sections .010 and .020. Chapter 3.20, .020D, Tax Abatement and Chapter 3.22, Advanced Telecommunication Systems Property Tax Credit by deleting the title Director of Internal Services and replacing it with the title Director of Finance by deleting the title Director of Information Technology and replacing it with the title Director of Information Services and update the references to the current annotated Code of Maryland. Uh, whereas the Mayor and Council, the City of Salisbury, desire to reorganize the departmental structure of the City of Salisbury, and whereas the Department of Internal Services is being divided into two separate departments, Department of Finance and Department of Procurement as part of the reorganization structure for the City of Salisbury, and whereas the current City Code refers to the Director of Internal Services, that will be eliminated under the reorganization and replaced with the Director of Finance and Pro uh, directors of finance and procurement and whereas the Department of Information Technology is being given additional responsibilities and is being renamed as part of the reorganization structure for the City of Salisbury and whereas the current city code contains the Director of Information Technology in chapter 3.22 that will be renamed under the reorganization and replaced with Director of Information Services. And whereas the Salisbury City Council has concluded it is in the best interest of the city to uh, amend the city code to accomplish the reorganization, which will not result in increased costs under the current city budget and will allow the departments to operate in a more efficient manner now, therefore be enacted and ordained by the city of Salisbury that chapters 3.04, 3.08, 3.20, and 3.22 of the city of Salisbury Municipal 
municipal code be amended as follows. And again, 3.04.030, just taking out the references to internal services and substituting finance where appropriate. Same with uh, the next section, 040, and the same with the next section, 050. Under personal property taxes, again, eliminating uh, references to internal services and substituting director of finance. Uh, under 3.08.010, uh, they're referring uh, to, the, to the tax of property article, and we're eliminating certain sections there and substituting it with 10.210 of the annotated code and updating the year of the volumes as that were previously in the code. Again, uh, replacing in line 72 internal services with finance, and then down in line 74, more references to the current code, and line 79, more references to the current code. Line 87, uh, again, internal services eliminated, finance put in. Uh, pursuant, again, under line 89, the same thing, updating to the current code sections. Um, and then in subsection D, eliminating internal services, substituting finance. The, uh, under definition, subsection D, uh, there is a change, again, eliminating the uh, Department of Information, the technology is being replaced to just Department of Information Services. Um, next change is in subsection D, again, substituting the correct name for the uh, Director of Department of Information. And the next change that's it that's it for that section we're good questions hearing none all those in favor of ordinance number two four four three for the first reading please signify by saying aye aye, aye. and the chair votes <clears throat> aye entertain a motion to approve ordinance number two four 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 for the first reading so move Ms. Second. jackson mr rudisill Okay. It's an ordinance of the City of Salisbury to amend the following sections of Title V, Business Licenses and Regulations of the Salisbury Municipal Code, Chapter 5.24.020A, Coin Operated Machines, and in Chapter 5.64, Towing Companies, Sections .020, 030, 040, 090, and .100A, and .120A by deleting the title Director of Internal Services and replacing it with a Director of Finance. Um, the whereas clauses here are pretty much the same as the last one. I won't even repeat it, we, we, where the uh, new Finance Director is being substituted for the old name. Uh, that, that occurs in subsection A of 5.24.020. Uh, that And then, again, we're just substituting the department name in line 49, line 54, Line 67, um, line 102, line 107, line 108, uh, continuing down to line 127, um, continuing over to line 137, the same change, and 163. And that's it. Questions? Hearing none, I'll call the motion. All those in favor of ordinance number 2444. For the first reading, please signify by saying aye. 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 And the chair votes aye. <clears throat> Entertain a motion to approve ordinance number 2445 for the first reading. So moved. Second. Mr. Boda, Ms. Jackson. Okay. Um, an ordinance of the City of Salisbury to amend the following sections of Title VI, Animals of the Salisbury Municipal Code, Chapter 6.04, Dogs, Fowl, and Other Animals, Section .050B, and Chapter 6.05, Urban Chickens, Section .150A, by deleting the reference to the Neighborhood Services and adding the Housing Community Development Department and to correct the typographical error. Uh, Whereas the Mayor and Council of the City of Salisbury desire to reorganize the departmental structure of the City of Salisbury, and whereas the name of the Department of Neighborhood Services and Code Compliance was previously changed to the Housing and Community Development Department, and whereas the name 
was not changed in all the sections of the Salisbury Municipal Code, and whereas the Salisbury City Council has concluded in the best interest of the city to amend the city code to accomplish the reorganization plan, which will not result in increased cost under the city's current budget and will allow the departments to operate in a more efficient manner, and now therefore be enacted and ordained by the City of Salisbury that Chapters 6.04 and 6.05 of the uh, City of Salisbury Municipal Code be amended as follows. Uh, line 30 there, you can see there's just correcting what was a typo from fall to fail. Um, and then the uh, reorganizational change would be um, under 6.04.150, line 45, the animal control officer um, or, and it reads code compliance officer, and what we deleted was neighborhood services and code compliance. So it's just referring to the code compliance officer may issue violations and fines for those penalties. Questions? Hearing none, I'll call the motion. All those in favor of ordinance number 2445 for the first reading, please signify by saying aye. 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 And the chair votes aye. I entertain a motion to approve ordinance number 2446 for the first reading. So moved. Second it. Ms. Jackson, Mr. Rudisil. Uh, this is an ordinance of the City of Salisbury to amend the following sections of Title 8, Health and Safety, the Salisbury Municipal Code, Chapter 8.04, Alarms, Sections .020, .030, and .050C and D, Chapter 8.08, .08, Brush, Weeds, and Obnoxious Growth, Sections .030, .050, .060, and .070, Chapter 8.09, Tree and Plant Growth Trimming and Removal, Sections .030, .060, .070, and 080. Chapter 8.10, Dead or Damaged Trees, Sections .030, .060, .070, and .080. Chapter 8.16, Garbage, Yard, Waste, and Refuse, Sections .020, .060B. Um, subsection uh, I, .080B, and .090, and .100, subsection C. Chapter 8.20, noise section point zero two zero. Again, um, is that I? It is? Okay. Uh, I think I need my new glasses. Okay, 020I, by deleting the reference to the neighborhood services and, co services and adding the Housing and Community Development Department, by deleting the reference to the build building permitting and inspections and replacing it with the Department of Infrastructure and Development, Chapter 8.24. Nuisance Sections point zero one zero and Chapter 8.28, Abandoned Refrigerators, Section point zero two zero by deleting the reference to the public works and replacing it with the field operations, and by deleting the title Director of Internal Services and replacing it with the title Director of Finance, whereas the Mayor and Council of the City of Salisbury desire to reorganize the departmental structure of the City of Salisbury, and whereas the Department of Public Works is being divided into three separate departments, the Department of Infrastructure and Development, the Department of Public Works, and the Department of Field Operations as part of the reorganization structure for the City of Salisbury, and whereas the name of the Department of Neighborhood Services and Code Compliance was previously changed to the Housing and Community Development Department, and whereas the name was not changed in all the sections of the Salisbury Municipal Code, and whereas the Department of Internal Services is being divided into two separate departments, the Department of Finance and the Department of Procurement as part of the reorganization structure for the City of Salisbury, and whereas the Salisbury City Council is concluded that it is in the best interest of the city to amend the city code to accomplish the reorganization plan, which will not result in increased cost under the city's current budget and will allow the departments to operate in a more efficient manner. Now, therefore, be it enacted and ordained by the city of Salisbury that chapters 8.04, 8.08, 8.09, 8.10, 8.16, 8.20, 8.24, and 8.28 of the Salisbury Municipal Code be amended as follows. And again, um, in uh, subsections um, A and D, we're just substituting internal services um, for eliminating those words and putting finance in there. Again, under 8.04.030, um, under false alarms, the same thing is occurring, uh, except in addition, we're replacing internal, uh, excuse me, replacing neighborhood services and code compliance with housing and community development department. Subsection D, again, internal services is being changed. Um, and then under 8.08, .08, brush, weeds, and uh, obnoxious growth, um, the, it's being re-lettered uh, 
with uh, A being eliminated, and we're beginning with 8080301, um, and it sets forth the requirements, but the only changes here are, again, changing the Department of Neighborhood Services and Code Compliance to Housing and Community Development Department. Other than that, it remains the same. Same for Section 8.08.050. And the same for section 8.08.060. Um, there's another reference to internal services there down on line 171 that's being changed. But other than that, it's the same. And again, uh, in finan uh, internal services are being changed to finance in line 180. Um, and then under the uh, Appeal section 8.08.070, Department of Neighborhood Services is being uh, eliminated and changed to housing and community development. And that's that for that section. The um, 8.09, trees and plant growth trimming and removal. Again, Department of Neighborhood Services is changed to housing and community development. Under 8.09.070, the same changes uh, a, with the addition of uh, down in line 259, internal services is being changed to finance. Um, again, in 264, on line 264, uh, substituting housing and community development, and 266, substituting finance. And that continues over with subsections A, B, and C on the next page, correcting the uh, names of the departments. Um, under uh, line 292, we're eliminating again the uh, subsection A, and it's just going to be the numbered paragraphs after that, again, changing uh, the names of the departments. And those department names are the only thing that changes uh, until we get down to garbage, yard waste, and refuse. And there, we're ch it's different departments. There, it's public works uh, is being eliminated. Field operations is being substituted. And that occurs in subsection A, B, C, and D, uh, as well as in subsection F. Um, under section 8.16.060, again, substituting the new uh, field operations. Uh, and substituting the uh, Department of Finance for Internal Services where it, appeal, where it appears, and that's in um, B and I. Um, penalties and violations, all we're doing there is changing the name of the department to, to the correct new name of finance. And 8.16.090, we're changing public works to field operations under subsection C, under subsection D, and under subsection E, internal services is being changed to finance. And under recycling, we're just changing again public works to field operations. Uh, under noise, 8.20.020. Uh, in that section, the uh, former uh, Department of Building Permitting and Inspections is being changed to infrastructure and development under I. Uh, 8.24 under nuisance. We are changing under subparagraph four, uh, building permitting and inspections is becoming infrastructure and development. Neighborhood services and code compliance is becoming housing and community development. And um, let's see, again, building permitting is again changing to infrastructure and development down in line uh, 515 and uh, neighborhood services to housing and community development on line 516. And then the same uh, things are repeated in 523 and 524, and um, down in 528 and 529 and 530. Under abandoned refrigerators, enforcement 8.28.020. Again, we're substituting Department of Neighborhood Services and Co Code Compliance is being eliminated and substituted housing and community development. And that is it. Questions? Yeah, on chapter 8.08, brush weeds and obnoxious growth, that's not any reference to my beard, is it? <laughs> <laughs> my, my wife might say that, but I like beards. <laughs> you want to vote? <laughs> <laughs> no, we better not do that. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> just clearly don't have anything blown it up. <laughs> All right, I'll call the motion. All those in favor of ordinance number 2446 for the first reading, please signify by saying aye. 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 And the chair votes aye. <clears throat> I'll entertain a motion to approve ordinance number 2447 for the first reading. So moved. Seconded. Ms. Jackson, Mr. Rudisill. This is an ordinance of the City of Salisbury to amend Chapter 8.11, the Fire Prevention Code, Sections .020 and 030 of the Salisbury City Code by updating the reference to the National Fire Code and adding new sections .030 and .050 to add the jurisdiction and authority to inspect for compliance with the Fire Prevention Code and adding language to establish dual responsibility for the Fire Prevention Code, whereas the Mayor and Council of the City of Salisbury desire to reorganize departmental structure of the city of Salisbury and whereas the city of Salisbury adopts the, the state fire prevention code with local amendments <coughs> and whereas there uh, have been updates to the fire prevention code and whereas the fire marshal for the city of Salisbury will now be part of the Salisbury fire department and whereas the Salisbury city council desires to update the Salisbury municipal code to reflect the updated fire prevention code with local amendments and whereas the city of the uh, Salisbury city council has concluded that it is in the best interest of the city to amend the city code to accomplish the reorganization plan which will not result in increased costs under the city's current budget and will allow the departments to operate in a more efficient manner now therefore be it enacted and ordained by the city of Salisbury the chapter 8.11 of the city of Salisbury municipal code, municipal code be amended as follows and the uh, reference there in uh, 8.11.20 to the uh, NFPA is being deleted, and the new language will read um, the National Fire Protection Association Life Safety Code 101 as referenced, comma, amended, and promulgated by the State Fire Prevention Commission is adopted by the City of Salisbury with the following local amendments. Um, <coughs> paragraph one, fire prevention fees shall be established by resolution of the City Council. Subsection B, again, the reference to the NFPA is being eliminated. The language there should read, the National Fire Protection Association Fire Code, one as referenced, amended, and promulgated by the uh, State Fire Prevention Commission is adopted by the City of Salisbury with the following local amendments. Um, and then uh, the, there's no changes in one, two, and three. Under subsection four, there is a deletion of the amend uh, section 10.11, open flame candles, et cetera and an addition of the words include Annex E, Firefighter Safety Building Marking System with local amendments. And under subsection A, local amendments to the Annex F, or under subsection I, we're going, uh, we'll add E1.3.6.1, and it, which reads, the following letters shall be used to indicate special hazards assigned to the center of the Maltese Cross. Uh, subparagraph one, the letter F, floor hazard, Subparagraph two, the letter R, roof hazard. Subparagraph three, the letter W, wall hazard. Subparagraph four, the letter H, for holes in structure. Five, S, for stairs compromised. And six, M, for maze-like confusing layout. Under uh, subsection double I, add E1.3.6.2, where the AHJ determines the conditions to be severe enough uh, to limit all operational activities to a defensive mode, only a red X shall be placed through the center section of the Maltese cross. Um, and then uh, we're taking out the year under subsection C for the reference to the uh, International Building Code, and it will be adopted uh, as adopted uh, with the state and local amendments. Um, Subsection 8.11.030, the word setbacks is coming out and we're adding authority having jurisdiction. Uh, then under that, the, uh, we're eliminating outside above ground unprotected flammable liquid storage. That section and adding that the chief of the fire department, uh, paren COF, shall serve as the authority having jurisdiction over the fire prevention code. And then under 8.11.040, inspections, subparagraph A, to the full extent permitted by law, the fire department and the housing community development department shall have authority to enter and examine at all reasonable times any building, structure, marine, vessel, vehicle, or premises for the purpose of making fire safety inspections, with the exception of one and two family dwelling units. Subparagraph B is being added. 
uh, personnel responsible for administering and enforcing this code shall be trained to a minimum level of fire inspector one in accordance with the national fire uh, in accordance with the national fire protection uh, not sure about that check on that and then subsection c uh, personnel will periodically inspect all buildings and structures as herein set forth uh, in this code on a schedule derived from life safety and fire risk assessment. And then under 8.11.050 setbacks, it will read outside above ground unprotected flammable liquid storage tanks shall be separated from lot lines in public ways by a minimum of 75 feet. And then um, under 8.11.060, those uh, paragraphs are being uh, eliminated and consolidated into two paragraphs, which I will read as follows. When conducting plan review and pre-occupancy inspections, the Wicomico County Department of Planning, Zoning, and Community Development dash Fire Protection Division shall have authority to enforce this code when requested to do so by and in coordination with the Director of the Department of Infrastructure and Development. In paragraph two, when conducting post-occupancy inspections, the Wicomico County Department of Planning, Zoning, and Community Development dash Fire Protection Division shall have authority to enforce this code in coordination with the Director of the Department of Housing and Community Development. And that is that. Questions? I just have one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> On line 102, uh, when you're talking about a minimum of 75 feet for flammable liquid storage tanks. What if the lot is smaller? I don't, I don't know if that's something. I don't, I don't think that section changed. It just got the numbering got moved. Okay. So I don't. I don't know that we looked at that. We could. I mean, that's something. If you like, you know, in my neighborhood, there's not 75 feet between my house and the two houses beside me, and the one behind me. So I don't know if that's something we've ever. We'll look into that. Yeah. Good point. Any other questions? Hearing none, I'll call the motion. All those in favor of ordinance number 2447 for the first reading, please signify by saying aye. 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 And the chair votes aye. <clears throat> I'll entertain a motion to approve ordinance number 2448 for the first reading. So moved. Seconded. Mr. Boda. Mr. Rudisil. It's an ordinance of the City of Salisbury to amend the following sections of Title 10, Vehicles and Traffic of the Salisbury Municipal Code, Chapter 10.04, General Provisions, Sections .050, and .080, Chapter 10.08, General Traffic and Regulation, Section .020B, Chapter 10.24, Parking Meters, Sections .050 and .060, Chapter 10.28, parking uh, restrictions in residential districts, section .010A3 and chapter 10.40, removal and impoundment of vehicles, section .080 by deleting the references to internal services and replacing those reference with finance and to correct typographical error. Um, if you, uh, again, substituting uh, the, the, uh, the same departments here, so under 10.04.050, we're just taking away internal services and replacing it with finance. Same as being done under 10.04.070. Same as being done under 10.04.080. Under 10.08.020, um, we're taking out the reference to Article 52 and substituting courts and judicial proceedings, Article 7-302. Um, and again, uh, down in line 72 and 73, internal services comes out, finance goes in. Uh, the same uh, corrections with internal services and finance in lines 85 and 86. Um, same in line 101. And um, then under um, notices of restricted par parking issuance of permits, uh, we're just re-lettering, uh, uh, you know, the bolder, stuff comes out at the top and they are being re-lettered so it'll be a b c and d now other than that there's no change um, department of internal services comes out in line 118 uh, 120 121 all substituted with finance and then down here um, we'll sign a vehicle release form authorizing instead of authorized which was the 
typographical error referred to in the title. Um, and that's it. Questions? Hearing none, I'll call the motion. All those in favor of ordinance number 2448 for the first reading, please signify by saying aye. 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 And the chair votes aye. <clears throat> I'll detain a motion to approve ordinance number 2449 for the first reading. So moved. Ms. Jackson, Mr. Boda. You want some more? You need a break, I have, I Mr. I Tillman? Some, I think I have a hidden stash under here, thanks to you. Oh. <laughs> Do you need a break? No, I'm good. Okay. Just needed to wet my tongue again. I'm tired and I'm just listening. Mm. Thank you. <clears throat> um, an ordinance to the city of Salisbury to amend the following sections of Title 12, streets, sidewalks, and public places of the Salisbury Municipal Code, Chapter 12.08, construction of driveways, sections .010 and .050, Chapter 12.10, snow and ice removal, sections .040, .050, and .060, Chapter 12.10. 12.10 excavations and obstructions, chapter 12.36 sidewalk cafes, uh, sections .020B and 040C and G, and chapter 12.40 sidewalk signs, sections .020B and .040 by deleting public works and replacing those references with the Department of Infrastructure and Development by deleting the reference to the Director of Building Permitting Inspections and replacing it with the Director of Infrastructure and Development, by deleting the reference to Neighborhood Services and adding the Housing and Community Development Department, and by deleting the title Director of Internal Services and replacing it with the title Director of Finance. Um, again, I, I, I won't even read the whereas clauses because it, it's just substituting for changes of names. Yep. Um, and those changes are appear uh, in line uh, 54, in line 60, in both places, uh, Public Works is being replaced with Department of Infrastructure and Development. Uh, they appear in line 69 and 70, replacing Department of Neighborhood Services with Housing and Community Development. Or yes, and they also appear with the changes in the department names in line 75, 79, and 80 as well as 84 and 85, um, and then 86, we're substituting internal services as being replaced with finance, and nine, lines 91 and 93, the same department changes are being made, and it's also occurring in line 99, 102, 109, um, public works is being replaced with the Department of Infrastructure and Development in 125, and down in lines 132 and 133, building and permitting and inspections is being replaced with infrastructure and development. Line 144, public works replaced with infrastructure and development. Same is occurring in line 152 and in uh, lines uh, 158 and 59, and also in line 166, 168, and uh, 172. And that's that. Questions? Hearing none, I'll call the motion. All those in favor of ordinance number 2449 for the first reading, please signify by saying aye. 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 And the chair votes aye. I'll obtain a motion to approve ordinance number 2450 for the first reading. So move. Second. Ms. Jackson, Mr. Boda. It's an ordinance of the city of Salisbury to amend the following sections of Title 12, streets, sidewalks, and public places of the Salisbury Municipal Code, Chapter 12.32, pedestrian malls, by deleting the references to the Director of Public Works in Sections .030 and .040, and replacing with the Director of Infrastructure and Development by deleting the references to the Department of Public Works in Section .060, and replacing it with the Director of Field Operations, and by deleting the Director of the Department of Building Permitting Inspections and the Director of the Department of Building, Housing, and Zoning, and replacing both of those positions with the Director of the Department of Infrastructure and Development. Um, again, we're you know, shifting, uh, renaming, and shifting uh, the responsibility. And uh, the first changes are occurring down in line 41, Public Works has changed to Infrastructure and Development. Uh, that is also occurring in line 50. Um, Line 61, Public Works is being changed to Field Operations, 
and in line 62 and 63, building permitting has changed to infrastructure and development. Uh, line 77 uh, and line 79, uh, building, housing, and zoning are being uh, changed to infrastructure and development. Questions? And that's that. Hearing none, uh, I'll call the motion. All those in favor of ordinance number 2450 for the first reading, please signify by saying aye. 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 And the chair votes <clears throat> aye. Obtain a motion to approve ordinance number 2451 for the first reading. So moved. Second. Mr. Boda, Ms. Jackson. Uh, an ordinance of the City of Salisbury to amend the following section, Title 13, Public Services of the Salisbury Municipal Code, Chapter 13.01.030, Definitions, Chapter 13.02, General Provisions, Connection to the City's Water and Sewer Main, Sections .050A3, B1, um, Section .060G, .070A5, Section A13, B3, B7, B9, B10, D4, D subsection E, and .080G, Chapter 13.20, Private Water Systems, Sections .020D and F, Chapter 13.28, Storm Water Management, Sections .010, .21A and B, .040, .050, .060, .070, .090, and um, Let's see, but .090 appears there twice, so I want to make sure we've got that correct. Mm -hmm. um, and 13.30 uh, stormwater utility sections .010, .020C, .040L, section .060D, subsection G, .070. 70A, 0.080B, and 0.090B, and sections E and F, and um, 0.11A by deleting the references to the Department of Building, Housing, and Zoning and replacing those references with the Department of Infrastructure and Development by deleting the references to Public Works and replacing those with Infrastructure and Development, and by deleting the references to Internal Services and replacing those references with Finance, and by renumbering the sections to be consistent with the subsection numbering system used in the rest of the code and by correcting uh, the misnumbering of, of subsections 13.130.110 to 13.30.110 and to correct typographical errors. Again, the reason for all of this is the uh, restructuring and just going through it quickly, uh, definitions under that 13.010.030, uh, Salisbury Public Works is being changed to the Department of Infrastructure and Development. That's also occurring in uh, line 56. That's occurring in line 64. And that's uh, internal services is being changed to finance in line 67. Um, public works is being deleted, infrastructure and development added in line 92 and line 101. Uh, it's also being uh, eliminated and uh, replaced with infrastructure and development in lines 120 and 121. Um, and public works is being replaced uh, uh, with an agreement. It's going to be uh, the execution of the development agreement instead of the public works development agreement. Um, and that's in line uh, 129. And again, public works is eliminated in 133 and 136 and infrastructure and development is substituted on line 137 and um, public works is eliminated again on 138 it's being eliminated and replaced with infrastructure and development on 156 uh, 164 and one line 175 um, it's also being replaced on public works is being replaced on line 187 uh, 188 and 89 Salisbury Public Works is being replaced with the Department of Infrastructure and Development. Um, the same changes are occurring uh, in line 194, line 205, and 206, and Salisbury Public Works is coming out in 209 and being replaced with the Department of Infrastructure and Development in uh, lines 209 and 210. 
um, down under 13.02.080, Salisbury Public Works comes out, Department of Infrastructure and Development goes in in 222 and 223. And under 13.2, private water works, again, taking out Department of Building and Housing and substituting Department of Infrastructure and Development. Um, subsection F, again, same change uh, in a couple places there. Uh, stormwater management, 13.28. Uh, the change there occurs in line 271. Public works comes out, infrastructure and development goes in. Um, under the subsection 13.28.021, same change, public works is eliminated, infrastructure and development goes in in lines 280 and 281, uh, also in lines 287 and 288, and in line 293 and 302, and uh, lines 313 and 314. Uh, the remainder of those sections uh, are as they currently appear. Um, in lines 321, Department of Public Works, Public Works comes out, infrastructure and development goes in. Um, and then the uh, renumbering is occurring under 13.28.040. Um, and that is being, uh, so it's going to begin with subsection A, scope, and then it'll be instead of the numbered sections, which were inconsistent with the code, it's going to be A, B, C. Uh, within subsections uh, numbered there below under subsection B. Uh, and those are the renumbering is the uh, only set, only real changes there. I'm good with that. Okay. And it keeps and it keeps it's, going for it's pages. 1100 lines in this one particular thing. Yeah. So I think <laughs> we want to keeps going. We, we, we attempted in, in doing this not to make these kinds of changes in the code unless it was a section that was already being changed. And so we, where we changed it, we fixed it. So, and it, that, like I said, the, no, the renumbering just keeps going. So, yeah. <laughs> see if there's I, I any think, other. I think that's fine. I do have, believe it or not, I do have a question. Sure. <laughs> I, I apologize. <clears throat> in, in the summary sheet I have, under the stormwater utility, it says section 0 .010, 0.020C, and 0.0401, and then here it says L, 0.040L. Is L, I'm assuming L is correct? Um. Can, can you read me that whole number again? Where did, what's the? Under the stormwater utility sections in the first uh, line, I'll tell you what line it's on. Line 10. Okay, so it's in the title. It's um, in the title, yeah. yeah. It says stormwater utility sections 0 .010, 0 .020C, so and it says .040L. Let me look. But on my summary sheet that I have, it says .0401. I'm assuming L is right because it's on the ordinance, mm -hmm. but yeah. it, am I, am I right or am, I just look. want to make sure we have it right this time, so I'm going to have to read it again. 13.3. <laughs> you see that? See. Yeah, I've, I've got it. There's so many pages here. I've got to flip to 13.3. Ms. Nichols, it's you see where? It's a lowercase L. Yeah, it's a lowercase L on here. On your sheet. On my on sheet. This one, it looks all like of those O2OC is the C is lowercase and O40 is a Okay. Oh, but um, on his sheet it's a lowercase. No, it's, it's on ours too. Wait a minute. It's because if you look under the point lead, three it's, zero. It's right on the sheet. Okay. Mr. Heath. It's an L. Yes, it is an L. I finally got there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's line uh, nine ninety one. If I'm not mistaken. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm sorry to interrupt. <laughs> no, I think we were done, actually. We're done. Oh, good. I, I, you know, there, there's a, again, there's a couple more references later in but there. But it's all named To internal services yeah. and finance, but that's it. Okay. Nothing else. All right. Any questions besides mine? No. Okay, good. <laughs> all, the, all those in favor of ordinance number 2451 for the first reading, please signify by saying aye. 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 And the chair votes aye. I'll entertain a motion to approve ordinance number 2452 for the first reading. So moved. Second. Ms. Jackson, Mr. Boda. 
an ordinance of the city of Salisbury to amend the following sections of Title 13, Public Services of the Salisbury Municipal Code, Chapter 13.04, General Provisions, Water and Sewer Charges, by deleting the references to public works and building permitting inspections in sections 0 .010, 0 .030, 0 .040, and 0 .110, and replacing those references with infrastructure and development by deleting the references to public works in sections 0 .030, 0 .060, and 0 .100, and replacing with water works by deleting the reference to internal services in section 0 .080, and replacing those references with finance by deleting the reference to the neighborhood services and code compliance in section 0 .110, and replacing it with the Housing and Community Development Department <coughs> and by deleting the position of Director of Planning and Zoning in Section .110 and replacing it with City Planner. <coughs> um, again, I, I mean, I, I won't do read, the, I'll delete the whereas clauses here, which are kind of repetitive. Yep. So we're, we're, we're substituting public works, uh, will be eliminated, infrastructure and development added. Um, I see that those are the changes uh, that appear in the first page and a half. Then we're substituting building permitting inspections with infrastructure and development later on that page. If you continue on to page three, um, public works is replaced with water works. Um, repeatedly, internal services is replaced with finance. Um, page four, public works with water works again, uh, repeatedly uh, down that page. Um, public works is replaced with water works on page five, uh, repeatedly down the page. And then down at the, uh, under 13.04.110, uh, public works is replaced with infrastructure and development. Um, and then on page six, um, building permits and inspection is replaced with infrastructure and development. Uh, neighborhood services is replaced with the housing and community development department and Director of Planning and Zoning is replaced with a city planner there on lines uh, 238 and 239. Uh, the next change appears um, down under subsection C, public works is infrastructure and development, and again, uh, if public works becomes infrastructure and development, I uh, think throughout the rest of that page. Page seven is the end of that That's ordinance. It. I have one. Uh -huh. A typographical error on line 12. 12. Compliance. Would like to make an amendment? What's the 112? You said 12 or 112? Line, line 12. 12. Line 12. Compliance. Let me, let me get there. Yep. Second. Thank you. <laughs> I second it. So we have a motion to amend line 12 to read as what? <coughs> Compliance. Changing. Changing. Fixing the, the spelling. Fixing the, the typographical error. The two letters are, are reversed. Yeah. Switching. Spelling yeah. change. Yeah. Typographical. Type of, okay. All right, we have a uh, motion to amend. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye. Now we'll vote on the amendment. All those in favor of ordinance number 2452, uh, as amended, please signify by saying aye. 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 And the chair votes aye. Is the ear on? No. I hear it. You hear it? You hear something. <laughs> okay. They're, they're getting shorter. Um, I'll entertain a motion to approve ordinance number 2453 for the first reading. So moved. Second. Ms. Jackson, Mr. Boda. It's an ordinance of the City of Salisbury to amend the following sections, Title 13, Public Services of the Salisbury Municipal Code, Chapter 13.08, Water, by deleting the references to Public Works, City Engineer and Building Permitting and Inspections in Sections 0 .060, 0 .050, and 0 .110, and 0 .110, well, 0 .100, and 0 .110, and replacing those references with the infrastructure and development by deleting the references to Director of Public Works and City Engineer in sections .010D and .030 and replacing those references with the Director of Water Works and by deleting the reference to the internal services in section .040 and replacing with finance. Again, it's all about uh, substituting uh, the names 
and under 13.08.010, Public Works becomes Waterworks, City Engineer becomes Director of Waterworks, and um, Internal Services becomes Finance down uh, under subsection A, and in 13.08.050, a City Engineer becomes Director of Infrastructure and Development in that case, and Building Permits and Inspections in the City en Engineer is deleted and becomes Infrastructure and Development. Um, under 13.08.060, Public Works becomes Department of Infrastructure and Development. Uh, Public Works on subsection B, the same thing there. And under 13.08.100, build, Building Permits and Inspections becomes Infrastructure and Development. And down under 13.08.110, Building Permits and Inspections becomes in Infrastructure and Development uh, in two places in that section. And that's it. Any questions? Hearing none, I'll call the motion. All those in favor of ordinance number 2453 for the first reading, please signify by saying aye. 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 And the chair votes aye. I entertain a motion to approve ordinance number 2454 for the first reading. So moved. Seconded. Ms. Jackson, Mr. Rudiso. Okay. Uh, uh, 2454, the ordinance of the City of Salisbury to amend the following sections of Title 13, Public Services of the Salisbury Municipal Code, Chapter 13.12 Sewer, by deleting the references to Department of Public Works in Sections .060B and .100B1, and replacing with the Department of Infrastructure and Development by deleting the position of City Engineer in Section .050A, and replacing it with the Director of the Department of Infrastructure and Development, and by deleting the references to Public Works, Sections .060B, .080D5, subsection point, excuse me, point one zero zero B point one and point two zero zero C two and point two two O D and replacing those with reference to references to waterworks. Um, again, just changing the names here in uh, lines 39 and 40. Uh, repeatedly in subsection B, uh, except sometimes public works becomes infrastructure and development as it does in the first two cases and then later it becomes waterworks. Mm -hmm. um, waterworks in D5 of 13.12.080 and uh, down under 13.12.100, um, it becomes public works becomes infrastructure and development the first time and waterworks the second time. Um, and Public Works becomes uh, Waterworks um, under 13.12.200. And also the same change in 13.12.220. That's it. Questions? Hearing none, I'll call the motion. All those in favor of ordinance number 2454. For the first reading, please signify by saying aye. 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 And the chair votes aye. <clears throat> I'll entertain a motion to approve ordinance number 2455 for the first reading. So move. Second. Ms. Jackson and Mr. Boda. Okay. In ordinance of the City of Salisbury to amend the following sections of Title 15, Buildings and Construction of the Salisbury Municipal Code, Chapter 15.2, Grading and Excavation, Sections 0 .030, 0 .040, 0 .050, 0 .060, 0 .070, 0.080 and 0 0.100. Chapter 15.24 Housing Standards, Sections 270B, 0.090.1080C, and 0 0.1700. Chapter 15.28 Numbering the Houses and Lots, Sections 0 0.030 and 0 0.040. And Chapter 15.36 Trailers, Sections 0.030B and 0.030D by deleting the references to Department of Building, Permitting, Inspections, and replacing them with the Department of Infrastructure and Development, by deleting the references to the Director of Building, Housing, and Zoning, and the Public Works Director, and replacing them with the Director of the Department of Infrastructure and Development, by deleting the reference to the Internal Services, and replacing it with Finance, to update the citation to the Annotated Code of Maryland, and by deleting the references to the Department of Neighborhood Services and Code Compliance in the Definition of Family, Section 1.C, and in the definition of housing official and replacing those references with the housing and community development department. Uh, again, I, I'll skip the whereas clauses. Now therefore, be it ordained by the city 
of Salisbury, the chapter 15.20, 15.24, 15.28, 15.36 of the Salisbury City Code be amended as follows. Um, beginning under 15.20.030, we're changing the names. Department of Building, Permitting and Inspections, Department of Infrastructure and Development. Um, that same change is occurring down under 15.20.040 and um, under 15.20.050, Public Works becomes Director of the Department of Infrastructure and Development. Um, under 15.20.100, Duties of, that we're changing, Building, Permitting, Inspections, Department of Infrastructure and Development, and that is occurring under subsection B of that section. And under um, subsection B1, uh, prior to initiating instead of imitating, uh, that was previously uh, in there. So that's just correcting that typo. And under line 136, Department of Building, Permitting, and Inspections becomes Department of Infrastructure and Development. 15.24.270B, um, Internal Services becomes Finance. 15.24.490, uh, Department of Building becomes uh, Department of Infrastructure and Development. And uh, Director of Housing, uh, Building, Housing, and Zoning becomes Director of Department of Infrastructure and Development. Um, and Department of Neighborhood Services becomes Housing and Community Development in line 169. And um, also in lines 173 and 174. Uh, public Works becomes Infrastructure and Development in lines 184 and 185. And lines 190 and 191, Internal uh, Services becomes Finance. Uh, public Works becomes Infrastructure and Development in lines 200 and 202. And Public Works becomes Infrastructure and Development in line 215. Um, also, Building, Permitting, and Inspections becomes Department of Infrastructure and Development in lines 225 and 226. Uh, internal services becomes finance in line 238 and under um, beginning with line 246 uh, the section 104 of article 52 is now changed courts and judicial proceedings article 7-302 and the uh, year uh, or the addition for that um, prior code is eliminated that's it questions Hearing none, I'll call the motion. All those in favor of ordinance number 2455 for the first reading, please signify by saying aye. 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 And the chair votes aye. I was just informed that we are running out of tape. It will take about one minute to change the tape. This is a first for me, so. Um, yeah. <laughs> I guess we can change the tape, Keith. <laughs>